Day YouTube and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review at the Rhino and in the basement and we're looking at from Whitewater Brewing in Forrester, Ontario, the Midnight Stout which is a uh, oatmeal milk stout. So Whitewater Brewing is the brewery known for Farmer's Daughter and Farmer's Daughter Melons. Ha! Nice! This one smells fantastic. I got tons of chocolate and oatmeal. See, and for me, I'm just getting like a sweet fruitiness. No. We, we've been pretty much off with each other all night. We have been. <laughs> no, let's try it. I don't get orange candy. Cheers. <laughs> Lots that's of lactic a, sweetness. Yeah, that's a nice oatmeal stuff. Like have your mouth feel creamy feeling. Pretty light though, light for light. Well, it's it's light and airy, but it's creamy at the same time. It's weird because, like, it like like you said, I understand what you're saying. Like, there's almost no carbonation, and it kind of just glides around the tongue. But at the same time, it's thick and creamy. I said light, but it's more on the lower end of the medium, I believe now. After having a second sip. But yeah, lots, lots of lactic sweetness. It's not, over, it's not overbearing in the lactose, lactose either, which is nice because once you put lactose in a, in a fucking stone, if it's too, like, if there's too much lactose, it's, it starts tasting like shit, to be honest with you, in my opinion. Nice, like, coffee bitterness on the back end. There's a little bit of a, bit, a, little bit of a dry, dry back end on this. Yeah, th this is the driest of all the beers we've had. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I don't mind it. I just don't love it. But I think it's my favorite beer so far from White Water Brewing. I'd probably give it a 7.5. I'd buy it again. I'd buy this again. I'd go 7.75. Alrighty. Thank you, guys. Midnight Stout. Bye.